Hi guys, my name's Lance, I'm the Managing Director here at Driveline and welcome to another edition of Driveline TV. And today I want to talk to you about Smart Lease. So this is a branded product of ours and it's come about by way of a change to the Tax Act many years ago where the old traditional finance lease or lease to own could be reclassified as long as we met certain conditions. And those conditions were that essentially there's no right of ownership and we keep within 75% of the economic life of the vehicle. So I'm not going to go into any more detail on that because you need to call us to get those specifics. And of course, I always advise that you talk to your accountant before making any financial decisions on HP versus lease. But give us a call anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is have a talk about the traditional lease, which is a fixed term lease with fixed Ks. It means that you're locked into that fixed term. At the end of the term, you've got to give that vehicle back to them with the agreed Ks and in good condition. Otherwise, you will be up for excess kilometre charges and refurbishment fees. Um, with a smart lease, we like to say, let's get smart. And the reason for that is because there's no kilometre restrictions, there's no excess kilometre charges, there's no refurb charges. Essentially we settle the same as a higher purchase if you want to get out, as opposed to the traditional lease where they look to charge you the total of the outstanding lease instalments. And it also gives you the potential to profit out of the resale. There's quite a few advantages there as opposed to the traditional lease. What we do with our clients is we give them what I like to call a kind of open calculation type arrangement where you get to see transparently everything that's gone into the lease. So what I want to do is look at um, an example vehicle. So we're looking at a brand new Nissan Navara ST 404 double cab ute. Then we're looking at a list price of 62990 We're going to be buying it with a canopy, tow bar, tough deck, those types of things for around 54000 including just. Over four years we'd be paying just over $770 a month versus an HP which would be around $1168 a month. That's quite a big difference. We would set a residual on that which essentially is a principal amount outstanding on the lease at the end of the lease term of $25,000. And when I go and do a Turner's price check as to what they're achieving at auction then they are just over $34,000. We talk about you having the opportunity to profit out of the resale of the vehicle. Well, if we went and sold that vehicle, you would get back the difference between those two. So with a smart lease, what happens at the end of the term? Well, we're going to be in contact with you at least three months before the end of the lease term. And we're going to be working through with you what you want to do with that vehicle. So if you don't want to keep it, then we're going to look to sell or trade that vehicle. And that's going to happen in conjunction with the supply of your new vehicle. So all we've got to do at the end of the day is clear out the 25,000. All right, so what happens if you wanted to keep it? Well, you can actually offer to purchase the vehicle. There's no right of ownership in the agreement, but we're not here to make money out of the out of the vehicles. All we want to do is get that $25,000 back and we can look to refinance the residual. We'll just refinance it under a traditional higher purchase, or you can just write a check for it and take it. If you don't want to keep the vehicle, then obviously Obviously we're going to be hopefully looking to put you into a replacement car and we're going to be looking to sell or trade the vehicle, um, chuck it up on Trade Me, see what kind of value we can get for it or chuck it through the auction. Alright so that's Smart Lease in a nutshell, it is our most popular form of financing. It gives you the best of both worlds in terms of ownership and the benefits of leasing. At the end of the day as we said previously, always talk to your accountant first, we're not giving financial advice. We do though have a fantastic team of people around the country that are waiting for you to give us a call so that we can help you out to make those decisions around your next vehicle purchase, whether it's lease or finance. Give us a call. And for more videos, check out our YouTube channel, Driveline TV.